That sounds a bit better. Our tradition here, here is when someone stays here and says hallelujah, we shout praise the Lord or amen. We don't say it, we shout it. Okay? Hallelujah! Amen! Welcome to church. We have a really wonderful situation here in Hamburg because you can go around the whole world on public transport. Um, because of the migrants that came to Hamburg for generations and are coming now, you will find any um, Christian uh, community from around the world or any, any faith group really from around the world, you will find within the city, uh, city limits of Hamburg. Official statistics here in Hamburg say that by now more than 50% of the youth actually have a migrant background. So that's the people living here in Hamburg. And so for us as the biggest Protestant church here in Hamburg, we have to see how we can accommodate this people coming from other cultures, how we can really be a church for all of them and not only for Northern Germans. My parents came to Germany in the 70s and um, they actually met in Germany and um, they now have three kids on, the, on their second uh, daughter. Um, I was born in Hamburg, I went to school here, I was raised here, I studied here and then um, I took off uh, to do studies abroad and then uh, came back to Hamburg. Being in this church, this church is an extension of my family or my substitute family if you want to say it like that. Um, since my relatives, they are all in Korea, but uh, just seeing these people every week, um, we call them uncle and aunt, although they're not technically my uncle or aunts, but um, I feel very home in this congregation. I guess my religion is very much connected to my Korean roots. To work together here in Hamburg with, with West African Christians was quite difficult for me because um, from my Northern European Lutheran perspective they are very Pentecostal. So that was hard in the beginning. But on the other side I think we can learn really a lot from them. The, the very lively style, the singing, the emotions. I even started to pray loud without preparing the prayer. So there's a lot really we can learn in how we do, uh, how we live our faith. Uh, a lot we can learn from the African Christians. Uh, now uh, we have in Hamburg around five Indonesian church. One of them is here in this is uh, uh, Presbyterian church and every Friday we meet here and we make a Bible study. We, we, we want to speak and to talk uh, about uh, God with our language and this makes us we feel at home and this is a little bit of medicine we could say it like that uh, for us. We built this church ourselves. Before it was a warehouse and we built it with our hands. All our community helps us to build this building. The most people in this church came from southeastern Turkey. It's called Mesopotamian and we are Aramaic. Um, we want to um, learn our children our language because it's very old language because um, the culture of German or Holland or Sweden it's very different uh, of our, our culture and they live between these two cultures in language in clothing and uh, go out or not and uh, how it's very very difficult for us to, to the, um, tell the children uh, our culture is not like this.
uh, migrants, first generation, who come here as refugees. And at least on Sunday, they want to be among their own people and in their own language. They want to pray in the language that they learned at home. But they stay here for longer. They have children. The children go to school here in Hamburg. They speak German. So that's the task, that's the challenge. We, as a German church, have to open up so that migrants can fe really feel at home here with their own identity. But we also have to challenge the migrants' churches and say to them, if you don't want to lose your children, if you don't want your children to, to just forget about church, just forget about their faith, you have to offer them German language, German culture within your congregation. And that's the area where we want to help you.